Hello and welcome to Stockwatch presented by me, Evan Lucas for Go Market Securities. As always, please, a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of it should upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it should upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. Earnings season is here, and it's going to be a really, really interesting one. The reason I say that is that you watch how many firms try and get around the idea of provo providing forward guidance. All the way through 2020, 2021, and most of 2022, firms have been using the excuse that has been COVID, and they've used it well. They give you almost no updates at all about what they expect the current year to be. In my view, that just doesn't cut the mustard anymore. And I'm watching very closely about how the market reacts to when you get those numbers. I want to highlight, have a look into consumer discretionaries. I'm not going to point out which stock exactly it is, but that their AGM at the end of last year, they said that things were unable to be forecasted because things were still quite opaque, yet then they came out with a record profit expectation around about three weeks ago. Watch them at earnings season. It's not just them, it's across the board. You also look at what's going on in construction, same thing. You're hearing that the construction industry is under real pressure, and that's true. But then you obviously you're getting no forward guidance from them in terms of actual expectation of numbers, and then you get again updates that suggest they're doing incredibly well. That is what I'm gonna look at, because earnings per share will be the standout for me. There is no doubt that you're going to see a slowdown coming in there, and that should be what you expect. The question is how much is that slowdown happening? And if that slowdown is above and beyond what you think it should be, why aren't firms telling you that? And that, I think, is what's going to be interesting about this earnings season, because it is going to be different. It's going to be better than some forecasts. It's going to show you that we were really moving quite strongly, particularly in the July through to even as late as November last year. What does the second half of this financial year bring? And that is the big question to watch in the earnings season coming up with the Ford guidance that should be back on the table.